Hi, my name is Erica Adams. This is my third year here at Pacific, and I'm studying health exercise sports science. All right, Erica, thanks for being with us. So um, looking forward to this 2022-23 season as kind of a vet on the team with a younger team. Tell me what you're looking forward to most this year. Um, this year, I'm looking forward to applying the chemistry that we were working on building last season and actually letting that show on the court. Um, and with this being my third year, I've played under Bradley for two years now. Um, I want to use my experience on the court and off the court to help um, our younger group out. And speaking of that younger group, um, uh, senior Sam Ashby had also mentioned the chemistry, just like you did. How are you guys as leaders and yourself taking in the younger girls and taking in, you know, um, your rookies on the team and mm -hmm. making sure that they're brought into that chemistry and the chemistry doesn't get lost? Right, I got you. Um, well, I want to say it's really a team effort. Um, our young squad, they, or our younger girls, they aren't just sit in the corner type of people, you know? They're just as much as leaders as we are. So we kind of meet in the middle. If the older kids are slacking off, we'll have our younger group snap us back like, hey, come on, let's get to it. And if the younger girls aren't doing what they're supposed to do, we have it coming from the older girls um, telling them to get back in it, you know? So it's, we're meeting in the middle in terms of holding each other accountable and stuff. So this year, as your third year, um, in 2020-21, you were on the WCC All-Freshman team. Um, and this team has definitely got players that get accolades. Um, are there more, you know, do you have high hopes this year for yourself, for your teammates, for more awards? Is it more so just about the playing? How do you kind of view that? Um, well, my freshman year was a lot. With COVID, it was just you didn't know what to expect. Um, but this year, individually, um, I just want to do the little things to help my team win, um, do what's expected of me from the coaching staff and my teammates. Um, and I know the accolades are going to come for who, whomever, you know. Our team is stacked. We have plenty of returners. Um, and I think that's something that people are ignoring, is that individually, each one of us has something special to bring to the table. Um, so yeah, this season, I just want to help my team win. Looking at your schedule, is there one game, is there a couple games that you are like, you have circled and run that you cannot wait for? The whole schedule. Um, we're playing pretty much everybody we played last season. Um, last season wasn't too hot, so in my mind, this is a revenge tour. We get to play everybody again and show them what Pacific's really about. And you guys have a lot of home games this season. What would be your message to the fans? And maybe in that fan list, your parents who are at every single game, who right. are some of the biggest fans in the Alex Street Spano Center. Yes, um, message to the fans, come out to the games. We appreciate the support. We love the, the crowd noise, the spirit, all that. So come decked out in your black and orange, clapping, yelling the whole game. Um, and to my parents, keep doing what you do. Mom, I love you. Keep being loud and talking to us um, and to the other coaches, respectfully, though. And my dad, he's, he's there. He'll give you a few claps here and there, but he's definitely the quieter one out of the two. But my mom, you'll know when she's there. So uh, what are you saying in the locker room to your teammates maybe even to yourself, to prep for this revenge tour. You have those games that you have this chip on your shoulder now. Mm -hmm. What is it going into this year that is your message, that is your thought process, that is your focus? Um, I'm just reminding everybody that we're the underdog. Nobody is expecting Pacific to um, be successful or to win the games that we are soon going to win, um, but everybody, we just need to lock in, be on board, and we all just got to hustle and work for it. It's really about the team who wants it more, so we need to be the team that plays like we have nothing to lose. Erica, is there anything about your season, 
uh, your schedule, your team that we haven't touched on this year that you wanted to add? Um, we're ready. We're getting ready. Um, it's a new team. Surprisingly, even though it's mostly returners, we only have two new faces, but it's a new culture, new vibe. Last year is behind us. We're looking forward to the season to come, and we're ready to play.